Hi, this is Kat with Beataholic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use crystal clay to part epoxy with Swarovski crystal chatons. Now I have here my package of crystal clay, as you can see, and I've chosen a few different colors and sizes of Swarovski crystal chatons. I have a Nun Design bezel ring. I have a magic pick. And I also have a pair of pliers, and I'll show you what that's used for later. But aside from these items, you don't need any other tools. So here's what you'll get when you get your crystal clay epoxy. Let me just open this up. You'll get a pair of gloves, and you'll get, there's a little instruction in here as well, but you'll get the two parts of your clay, and they'll be marked A and B. And then you'll also get a little sticky beeswax wand. Now you can use this for your crystal chatons or you can use a magic pick, but it does come with this. I've just pulled out the magic pick to show you with the particularly small chatons. This I find a little bit difficult to use, but if you're using larger chatons, you should be okay. I'm just using this guy. So just to let you know, I have PP24, PP14 and PP10. And those are just the different sizes. You can sort of see just a little visualizer as to the different sizes that you wanna choose for your project. So going back to the crystal clay, I'm just gonna open up my package here and show you that there's two parts. So I have my B and my A, which is gonna be my color. Set that aside. And let me go ahead and prep really quick to get my gloves on. Okay, so I got my gloves on and I'm actually gonna open this package as well just so that I don't have to deal with it later because once you get your crystal clay working, you're gonna have about a half an hour window to place your chatons before the clay starts to become hard and dry. So I'm just gonna remove this. There we go. So this is your magic pick and I'm gonna leave that attached for right now just so that it doesn't get sticky everywhere. And then let me take this out and show you kind of how this works really quickly. We'll go over this later when I actually start to place the chatons, but I just want to show you. So what is in here is basically a piece of scotch tape and that's your sticky surface. So you'll want to keep that closed to keep it away from any debris or dust that is in your work surface area. But you do want to work in a nice clean area for this because you don't want little hairs getting into your crystal clay. Okay, so let's do our crystal clay. So I'm gonna open up my packages here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pinch off about a pea-sized ball. A little bit more, I think, because I got a big bezel ring, so. You always wanna do maybe just a little bit extra because it's harder to mix a little bit if you haven't filled your bezel right away. And then again, you are working with that 30 minute time window. Okay, so I have a ball from my size, or from my B epoxy. I'm just gonna really quickly close that up. I don't want that to dry out. And then I'm gonna pinch off the same size from my colored epoxy. Make sure it doesn't get in your gloves. There we go. Okay. All right. And as you can see, what you, no matter what size you do, you're, wanting gonna, you're going to want to have equal sizes of both colors. And I said that's, that's pretty good. So now you're just gonna squish it together with your fingers and you're just going to continue to work it and it'll get softer as you work. When you first start, it can be a little, little hard, but what you're trying to do is you're mixing that clay really nice so that you don't have any more striations. You can see my crystal clay start to turn that beautiful purple color. Of course, it will turn whatever color you've chosen to use. <laughs> it won't always be purple. And you can definitely start to see why you wanna wear gloves when working with the crystal clay. 
Otherwise you'll have very purple fingers. Okay, I think mine is looking pretty good. Let's just sort of do a little check. Pretty good. Maybe one more. I'm just noticing a little bit of white sort of popping through there. Okay, that should do it. All right, now roll it up nice, nicely in a ball in your palms. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a clean finger and sort of hook my ring so that I'm not getting that crystal clay on the outside. And all I'm gonna do is sort of place it into my ring, just like so. And now you're just gonna press it down and sort of move it around to how you want it to look. Now you can, like I said, you can use more crystal clay or less crystal clay. Depending on the style that you want, you can go for something that's a little bit more domed or you can go for something that's a little bit more flat. Mine's gonna be sort of a nice in-between and I'll show you the side view in just a second. But you wanna make sure it kinda of gets all the way to the edges there and is nice and even. Okay, so you can kinda of see the side view of what I'm working with there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off one of my gloves just so that I get a nice grip on it now. And I like to use the back of my glove to sort of smooth out that top. And now I'm noticing that it's a little uneven. So now I'm just gonna work with it. And this could take just a couple minutes. Just take your time, because you're gonna want it nice and, nice and smooth and looking good. So I just sort of smooth it out on my glove and you can start to see that it gets a little shiny when you really start to smooth it out. Now, depending on the design, you can leave it, so you're gonna to want to work with it a little bit more so that it's a little bit shinier. But if you're gonna add crystal clay to it, or I'm sorry, if you're gonna add chitons to it, you don't have to do this part quite as much because you're just gonna notice that those chitons are gonna cover up a lot of those little, little flaws. Okay, so now that it's around all the edges and you want to look at it from the side just to make sure there's not any big blobs. I'm going to go ahead and set this down for just a moment while I remove my glove and just set those aside. And now we're going to start placing our chitons. So again, you're just going to take that little piece. Oh, and this is what I use my pliers for. Instead of setting it down, you can always set up a nice little surface for yourself. So I'm just gonna remove my top there and remove the little plastic piece there. And now what this is, is it's a little sticky piece and you're just gonna actually activate the sticky by placing it onto this little piece of scotch tape. So now you'll notice that when I go to pick up my chiton, it's nice and sticky. And I'm just gonna place my beautiful chitons in sort of a haphazard pattern, just cause I wanna get it really nice and just really glittery all over. I'm going to start by placing my larger chitons because I think it'll be easier to fill in with the smaller ones once I've sort of gotten these guys together. And you're going to want to only do one chiton at a time. And you'll notice that I don't have to activate the sticky every time I go to pick up a chiton. You'll notice when it obviously doesn't stick. And you can see I'm just placing the chiton into the crystal clay, but not pushing it so far in so that it bubbles over. All right, so I'm gonna start placing some other ones. And you can see how this is really nice with the smaller chitons. And you're just gonna to wanna to pick it up on that flat side because the pointed side goes in. So I'm gonna to continue to place my chitons I'll put one there. And you'll notice as I'm working, I'm sort of pressing down some of the chitons that are already in there because you'll see that crystal clay start to kind of bubble up a little bit. And the most important thing is that you're getting the edges of the chitons into the crystal clay and that will help them to not fall out eventually. 
So you really want to make sure that they're nice and covered in there. All right, so I'm done placing my chatons. And again, I'm just going to sort of work my way around my ring and just make sure that they're all nice and snug in that crystal clay. Beautiful and nice and glittery with all those beautiful Swarovski crystals. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it in this upright position to dry. It'll take about 24 hours for the clay to fully cure. And you definitely wanna make sure that it is fully dry before you wear it. So there you are. That is how to use crystal clay with the Swarovski crystal chatons. And we have a beautiful array of colors of the crystal clay and the Swarovski chatons for you to choose from. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find more at bitaholik.com.